In today's story, I'll be telling you about a shining light in the hazardous world of ghost net hunting. Hello, it's James from the Global Portrait Project, where I'm painting 193 portraits of 193 subjects, each from different countries, with each subject involved in their country in a positive environmental action. And today it's the turn of country number 36, China. The subject for my portrait for China is Harry Chan Tin Ming, the ghost net hunter. The People's Republic of China is the second largest country in the world by land area after Russia and has the longest combined land border in the world. China also has the highest number of bordering nations. The 14 nations bordering China start with V, L, M, I, B, N, A, P, T, K, K, R, M, and D. The six main categories of environmental problems for China are air pollution, water problems, soil problems, habitat destruction, biodiversity loss, and the impact of mega projects. The growing attention upon environmental matters has caused the Chinese government to display an increased level of concern towards environmental issues and the creation of sustainable growth. When looking for a subject to paint, I became somewhat stuck trying to find someone involved in one of China's large-scale programs. I then reminded myself that the project is about individuals creating their own stories, going out of their way to act locally and drive change. Thanks to the wonderful artist Annie Mack, I was put in contact with Harry who fitted the project perfectly. Harry Chan lives in Hong Kong, a special administrative region of the People's Republic of China. Harry is approaching 70 years old and for the last 10 years has dedicated himself to ghost net hunting. Harry has a lifelong love of the ocean but became aware that the ocean was not doing well, that it was sick. He has been diving since 1987 and became aware of the worsening problems of ghost nets. He decided he needed to do something. Ghost nets are abandoned, lost or discarded fishing net, fishing lines and fishing traps. Every year, 640,000 tonnes of ghost nets enter the ocean and according to various different reports this contributes anywhere from 10 to 40 percent of all marine trash. They may drift for decades. They have a stark impact on wildlife trapping small fish which then may attract larger predators. Nets are often found entangled with masses of dead or dying marine wildlife, including birds, sharks, whales and turtles. Some of the nets can be huge, over 50 metres in length. This does not deter Harry. It is not a glamorous activity. Using diving equipment and strong scissors, Harry dives down to the nets and cuts them free of tethering. The nets are brought to the surface for removal. Harry has been tangled in the nets several times and on a few occasions almost got killed. Harry recognises that this is risky but this is a challenge and someone has to do it. Using the buddy system, Harry and his co-hunters work on the nets in as safe a way as possible and have removed over 70 tonnes of nets from the waters around Hong Kong. Harry has been inspiring people to join him for years and has nurtured a whole new generation of hunters. For those less inclined to dive, Harry also organises shoreline net hunting. He states if everyone can contribute some effort, it will make a big difference. 
It might take time, but if we all do it, it will change. Harry funds all his work from his own savings and was awarded a Medal of Honour from the government for his ocean work and educational activity. If you'd like to find out more about Harry and ghost net hunting, I have put some links in the description below. Final words from Harry are, save the ocean, save the planet. The ocean has no boundaries. We are one. There is more information about this painting and how to get involved with the Global Portrait Project on the website and Instagram page and the links are in the description below. Next time we'll be meeting someone enabling community-based conservation work in Colombia. <laughs>